the reason he, folks, in case you were wondering, uh, the reason that he came by, because he just felt like it's such a good night, you know, which is, again, in those situations, what do you do? You, you know, you have a great night. You don't really have to do anything else. You let the debate performance speak for itself. Or you, you walk out and you try to clean up the mess you clearly made because you need uh, the affirmation of a crowd. For his last night when he made a surprise appearance in the so-called spin room a few blocks from the debate site. He called the ABC News moderators, quote, very unfair and said, I have no idea. When he was asked about Taylor Swift's post-debate endorsement of the vice president. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, you could kind of take those answers and attach them to almost everything. Well, all I do is say the truth. I say the truth. If I lose votes or gain votes, I don't care. But uh, this was my best debate. I thought it was very good. I thought she was very weak. By the way, if this is your best debate, that just simply means that everybody you faced before wasn't even remotely adequate. And that's not downplaying what Harris did. But uh, again... A bit of a sliding scale, I think. Weak on foreign policy. Did she she was very weak president? on the border, and uh, I'm very happy with she Yeah, I said weak. Did I mention weak? I was supposed to say weak more because she's a woman, and I was supposed to ta ah fuck me, take me over the spin room. I'll say ah I'll say it weak, right? Weak, weak on this, weak on that, weak. If I say she's weak, because women are weak, and people will say women are weak, so I gotta say weak. Fuck, like that's exactly how that happened. Just so you know. That was the that was the entirety of the thought from debate to him coming to this fucking thing. Guaranteed. He was supposed to call her weak and he fucked up and forgot because he was so thrown off his game by her calling his rally small and boring, just like his dick. And he took it so personally, he forgot to say weak. And so he had to go over there and just drop weak, 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 weak. And immigrants are eating your pets and weak. That's what it is. Several times the vice president appeared to succeed last night in her stated goal appeared to succeed getting under the skin of the former president who grew angrier as the evening unfolded <laughs> well grosser I don't know about angrier also uh, it, I don't know if I've ever heard the phrase get under someone's skin and it's actually skeeved me out you know what I mean? Most of us just write out, yeah, he got under, got under his skin, got under his skin. Kind of like a paper cut or a, uh, you, you irritated him. He got under their skin like a, um, uh, like a splinter. You know what I mean? That's where it comes from. But when he says, uh, it, when you say it about Trump, it sounds nasty. <laughs> Allowing himself to be baited into digressions concerning events of long ago. By the same token, Mr. Trump spoke in language more readily understood by so-called ordinary Americans. As when he cited the cost of cereal, bacon and eggs. And he scored the night's best one-liner when he urged Ms. Harris to wake up President Biden and get him out of bed at 4 p.m. Also, no, he didn't, because they said, we'll go down there right now, and it was 9 o'clock at night. What time does Trump think it is? Trump thinks he was just outside. It was fucking dark. It's not 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Unless Trump was just accidentally gave away the game that they he insisted they pre-tape this and air it later and he's operating on that pretense. Her yeah, she had the best line. 81 million people fired you. That's he was fired by 81 million people. That was the best line of the night. I intend to create an opportunity economy, investing in small businesses, in new families, in what we can do around protecting seniors, what we can do that is about giving hardworking folks a break and bringing down the cost of living. I believe in what we can do together that is about sustaining America standing in the world. They've had three and a half years to fix the border. They've had three and a half years to create jobs and all the things we talked about. Why hasn't she done it? She Again, they did. That's the point. You were just, you were making a complaint that, again, everybody knows we're at 4% unemployment. Everybody knows that manufacturing is up. Like, this isn't even a fucking mystery. And she's vice president. She gets to do shit when she's president, that she didn't get to do as vice president. This is the same, by the way, this is the same attack line he used on Biden. 
he was with Obama. Why didn't they do this then? Whatever. That, you know, he used several of those hits on Biden. And the answer was simple. Because the president has more power than the vice president. Don't believe me? Ask Mike Pence. She should leave right now, go down to that beautiful White House, go to the Capitol, get everyone together and do the things you want to do, but you haven't done it and you won't do it because you believe in things that the American people don't believe in. Yes, the tooth fairy uh, being Jesus's brother. Nobody's ever heard shit like that. While aides to both nominees last night expressed interest in holding a second debate. Oh, my God. Philadelphia is a fucking hellscape. Look at that. I can't hear you over the rioting and fires. It's the, you know what I mean? You know what I think it is, folks? I think it's the, uh, it's the, it's the fireworks that they're using as, uh, as IEDs. Can you guys understand what he's saying? I can't because he's screaming from Philadelphia, hashtag rip Philadelphia, um, in the middle of this. It's just, and in, is it daytime? It's so dark. I can't tell. An agreement. No one's even going to work. People are just wandering around, abandoning cars. Those trucks are empty. Well, they're probably full of fentanyl. On the venue in terms of such an event appears far from certain at this moment. Katie and Sean. Bow down, down, down. That's okay. So that's uh, that's Newsmax. Now, uh, there were some people who weren't ready. Uh, well, okay. Let's jump in. Can we Can we take a little trip? Come with me. There were some people who, no matter what happens, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching House Parks Mega Worldwide, the greatest live stream in existence. None of this slapdash bullshit where people just throw their chat on the screen and let it scroll over garbage and stuff like that. I make sets, so this is interesting to look at. God damn it. So, <clears throat> anyways, 